I'll call this school meeting to order. Everyone could please first turn off your cell phones and direct your attention to the results of previous school meetings. As the chairman of the school meeting, I am essentially the chief executive officer of the school, which means that I do a lot of things from signing staff contracts and also I'm ex officio on a lot of the important committees, which means that I run a lot of them. I'm automatically, as chairman, a member of those. So things like managing the budget or dealing with staffing and admissions. I also run the weekly school meetings and kind of just help to manage the day-to-day -day school affairs. Is there any discussion? If not, we'll vote. All in favor? All opposed? Motion passes. The school meeting is extremely important because it's basically what runs the school. Everything is decided in the school meeting. And you know, we've delegated to the JC to deal with judicial matters, and we've delegated to certain clerks and committees to deal with things. But ultimately, school meeting is the authority. Everyone that comes to the school is a school meeting member. Everyone has an equal vote. And I feel like the community of the school really teaches kids that they, you know, they're just as equal as any other person here. And I think that translates in the school meeting. It doesn't matter if you're 4 or 16 or 75. Everyone gets one vote. Everyone gets to talk. And we're all equals, and we make the decisions together by majority vote. The world and the school is constantly changing and evolving. And we do modify rules every now and then. And sometimes when we change one, we'll realize that that didn't quite work out, and we'll go back and you know, amend it or fix it. And uh, sometimes we realize there's you know, new issues in the world that you know, need tending to. We think about everything and we discuss everything and we debate everything and if we didn't have the structure that we have of having two motions, a well-run school meeting where everyone gets their voice heard, the decisions that we made would not be as good. So at every school meeting we have an agenda like this and it has everything that you know we plan to discuss, every item of business. Can we have a report from the clerks? Francis. We have five finished, zero new and zero work in progress. So we are now discussing regular JC business, which usually takes about the bulk of school meeting. So the school meeting reviews all the reports and sentences and charges that the JC decided on. And sometimes they decide to change things, sometimes they don't. And we also deal with anything that has been referred to the school meeting. So that's usually more serious cases that the JC has decided they can't handle within their power. And then we move on to second readings, which is motions that we'll be voting on that day, and then written agenda, which is motions that were just put in, so we kind of discuss those and throw them back and forth, and then we'll vote on them next week. And then there's open agenda, which, you know, if there's an issue that wasn't in the written agenda, anybody can bring up, so you can say pretty much anything on the floor. And when that's over, we're adjourned. It's exciting and it's interesting, but the reason that it's the most interesting to me is because I really care what's going on in school. I mean, a lot of people, when there's something going on in JC that they think is important, will go to JC, and the same thing with school meeting. And I think it's really, really great because I learned a lot from being JC clerk, and I am learning a lot from being school meeting chairman, and the whole process is one of the things that people benefit most from this school. Is there any discussion of the results?